So what we've got here is the new toy for the workshop. Um, it's a 20 ton hydraulic press from eBay, 140 pounds, and I'm going to see how it is. I've got an absolute ton of bushes and bearings, whatever else to press out on my car. So I thought instead of getting someone else to do it or taking it into work, just waste away some of my time, I thought I'd buy my own. It wasn't crazy expensive. Um, I'm going to do now, give it an unbox and show you how it is. Okay, so here it all is. And for what I paid, it's gonna say reasonable. Uh, first impressions, welding wise, there's some definite mishaps. I can't say, yeah, the more you look, the worse it gets. However, so this is the, the pressing part, and as you can see, they have pretty thin stuff already looks like I've had a nice bit of strengthening in there like I said 20 tons supposedly there's some square blocks here I have bought some new ones which I'll show you soon the hydraulic jack doesn't give me too much confidence as you can see it's pretty rackety and absolutely everything has been painted and then a ton of them 20 bolts hopefully they're going to be strong enough get the bars that hold the cradle in well, I'll have to see. Um, I'll get it set up now and see how it looks. The instructions are definitely uh, to the point. It's kind of just there. It tells you everything that's come in the kit. I just had a quick look through and it looks like everything's there, so I'm happy with that. So some seriously weird sizes here. Uh, the nuts are actually bigger than the heads, the bolt heads, so like, the 14 mil bolt with a 17 mil nut. Same again, 22 and 24, 17 and 19, and this is 17. So I'll set it up as I can with a few spanners and the rack gun. Let's see how it goes. So with the press now assembled as it came out of the box, um, there is a few more things now that I've found, um, whether it's just poor build quality or just something that's maybe not so necessary. First of all, something like these M20 bolts here, you'd think they'd be nice and strong to kind of hold on the main arch. Um, but as you can see, there's nice big gaps either end, so you can't tighten these up. You're just gonna add stress that's not really needed in that position. Exactly the same as this side. So what I'm going to look to do is just add some washers on each end. But for now, I'll just test it as is. The jack definitely doesn't give me the most confidence. It's just a bit kind of fall over your party. But so far, so good. And this bleed kind of screw here is crazy how tight it has to be. Otherwise, it passes. Um, but this little thing is just so small, it's kind of hard to grab. These plates here, um, first of all, they're really, really thin for what you think 20 tons would be. And also the paint has just made them crazy sliding. So I feel like if you're kind of putting something together that's uh, a bit awkward, just gonna be slipping sliding everywhere and making it much harder. Next, uh, these pins here, either neither end are chamfered. So they're an absolute ball to get through these holes because first of all, they're absolutely caked with paint. 
um, but without, without a shambi, it's kind of really tricky to get in. Um, another thing, just remove this. So with here, where it's going to hold all that pressure, um, it's held in with these two M M14 bolts either end. But if you tighten these up, you won't be able to adjust it. And you don't really want to be undoing them all the time. There's no nylock or, not look, or lock nut on these, so these are kind of free to spin. And then you, at least then you've still got movement. So that could easily come out and split apart and you're in a right pickle. Um, and then also, you pretty much travel it all the way near the end. Um, just say if you set it up wrong without realizing, you've really not got much room. So there's definitely some improvements even in that area. But hey, other than that, it's, uh, it is cheap. And let's see how it goes. What I thought I'd do, just have a little test myself. So it's got one of the plates that came with it. It's nice and close to the jack. I'll get pumping away and just see how I feel with it. Right, so I've given that a good pull as far as kind of the bar will let me because that's going to bend in no time. There's definitely some deflection in uh, this piece here as well as, unfortunately, my straight edge is a bit too uh, big to see. But there's a slight deflection there just by eye um, and a quick little check. But other than that, it's hard to say obviously how far that is, but so far, not too bad, nothing's broken. The uh, jack did like to pass through. Uh, this has to be crazy tight just for such a little, tiny little thing. Um, one thing that's quite frustrating, doesn't kind of self pull up. These springs are nowhere near strong enough. So my initial plan was to store this under the workbench, uh, just with the washer over there. However, it's 100 and, well, 1400 millimeters, as it says. I've had a quick measure and it's probably 50 mil over that. Um, and it's 550 mil wide and 400 uh, deep. But the plan was to put it under the bench, which is about uh, just over a meter high uh, from underneath. Uh, I was tempted just to cut the legs off, but I might just leave it freestanding, uh, especially with how Often I'm going to need it for the moment. Some of my first upgrades are these X block press blocks um, with four different holes so you can spin it around for kind of different, just different kind of jobs. Uh, much better than you just your usual V, I don't even know it came in a V. And also you can kind of see the height difference. They're much thicker, so they're definitely going to take a bit more brunt. Um, not like 20 tons is going to be too crazy. Um, once again, though, they are that same paint that makes everything really, really slidey. So these definitely need kind of roughing up to hopefully stay in place. So as its first practical test, what we've got here is a secondary pump, a smoke pump pulley uh, with this nice large bearing on the back. As you can see, there's indentations all the way around kind of help hold the bearing in. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is try to press this out. Like This is not a problem. Um, with a good press it should easily pull out. This bearing is totally fine, but I've ordered a new one, so I may as well replace it. And quickly on the lathe, I've just made a piece of aluminium bar, because I'm still waiting for my press set to arrive. Fits perfectly in that little gap there. Um, so I'm just going to get that set up and see how it goes. must admit that was an absolute breeze. It was a very good start. Um, I've got some bushings that I'd like to just try to press out so I may as well give that a go. 
This here is the roller bearing from the other end. Luckily with these, this quad block, this fits pretty well in there. So I'm gonna be happy with that. So I'm just gonna have that pressed out now. So what we've got here is a E30 lower control arm and it's got two ball joints, the inner and outer, and then also this to be removed, it's pushing, so let's give that a go. It's definitely a bit to still be removed. Good start. This last one's a bit more tricky, so I'm going to leave this for now. And what I need to do is cut around this edge to kind of give it a better face there. And then also I need to wait for my kit to arrive so then I can get that one out. But this one, obviously this is still stuck on, but I should be able to get that sorted soon. And this came out of breeze, much better than expected and really not too much pressure on the, on the actual jack. And here we have it then. Um, honestly, the use of the of the press i'm very impressed with to say it was 140 quid it's uh it's done much better than expected because i heard these are an absolute pain to get out didn't find them whatsoever same with this with these notched edges here this obviously quite a simple one and this one broke off but i'm waiting for my larger tools to arrive so i can get that out but other than that i am really happy with it so these blocks, I'll add a link uh, for the eBay. They're only 30 pounds, but they made a world of difference straight out of the box um, with the circular bearings or anything without having the, the correct tools at the moment. That's really helped. But other than that, it is as is. I'm gonna look to upgrade some bits, like I said, to sort out some safety features. Cause this has definitely come these are definitely loosened off. Obviously I can tighten them up in that position, but I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked it. Any questions, please comment. Thanks for watching.